do you want to know how Technopark, the IT hub of Tiruvannam, Kerala, manages its daily solid waste? If your answer is yes, then this is the video to watch. And the channel is Conserve Environment with Pratima Pandey. I am on my way to the centralized and integrated waste management plant of Technopark. That's the structure. Hi everyone, this is me Pratima and behind me is the waste treatment plant. And we are here to meet Mr. Jamon who will show us around and explain the operations. Before that, let me tell you the main infrastructure. There is a dry waste sorting facility, a composting facility, biogas plants, pickup vehicles and a staff of around 20 people. Uh, this is Mr. Jamon and this is the dry waste sorting facility where the waste of Technopark comes and is sorted. Oh, yeah. Plastic bottles, cardboards, paper, metal items. And are given away monthly to vendors that are assigned to Technopark by the Suchitva Mission Kerala. Before we move on to the wet waste management facility, I would like to know your views on the current dry waste management system. Do comment. The contact details of concerned people are given in the video description in case you have any suggestion or queries. Please. And now moving on to the wet waste management facility. High Tech Biofertilizers India are the contractors for this segment. Primary sorting. Primary sorting. So wet waste also undergoes primary sorting based on moisture content and the high moisture wet waste like fruits and vegetable waste is pulverized first and then fed to the biogas plants while the rest of it goes to the bio bins uh, is it that lesser waste is there nowadays or every day this becomes this clean, clean. every day clean up every day huh? clean. so the staff must be very efficient because that is the problem with compost and food waste, no? it gets messy. So, if it's so clean, then what else? You can remove your mask, no problem. That's not okay, okay. This is the final? Final product. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 15 days or 80% of the bin. Okay, 80% of the bin. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. And then after that? After 15, this, it will be closed. Okay. And then it will start. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then this also same? Yeah, then there like yeah, that. Yeah. And and uh, this compost will be ready in how much time? Yeah, yeah, almost uh, 25 to 30 days. We just saw the biogas and the composting facility. Let me know your views on them. And these are the people in charge of the solid waste management plant so now, in Technopark. So every day how much of waste is produced in Technopark on a normal working day? Uh, 3.5 to 4 tons. Okay. And that is a mixed waste? Ah, mixed okay. Waste. This plant has a capacity of handling 4 tons per day? Yeah. According to Mr. Jamon, the e-waste is handled directly by the companies and the sanitary waste and the rest of it is taken away by the municipal corporation. So that was a summary of the waste management system of Technopark. I was happy to see the systems in place. I sincerely hope that the current system becomes more efficient and streamlined with time so that it can meet up all future challenges of waste management. And here is how the systems work on a normal working day. Did you like the video? Did you find something new in it? Or were you happy that such systems exist in Technopark? I would love to hear from you. Please drop in a comment. 
Also, don't forget to watch the earlier episodes of Let's Talk Waste Management. My effort is to bring to you all that is relevant in the field of waste management. So, I request you to subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos and motivating me to make more such content. As I say, go green to get green. Till we meet in the next video. Take care and thanks for watching.